all the new players, make sure to type in Colon Colon referring game at Lunite and then type in my name FBK Merc to get yourself a super nice head start at Lunite upon joining. And boys, in today's video, the first commenter is gonna be walking away with a $25 bond. As well as for the main giveaway today, we are gonna be giving away a diamond card pack. So to be entered in the giveaway, make sure to like the video, comment your in game name, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications, comment join my personal Discord, and also add me on Snapchat, FBK Merc without space. And yes, that is all you guys have to do. Good luck and I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Let's get started. Alright guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a guide of the three new bosses that Lunite has, the Magister, the Scottisio, and then also the beautiful Tecton. So boys, let's get started with the Magister. As you guys can see, this is a new boss that requires the Assassin Guild unlocked to fight. And you will have to have the Assassin Guild unlocked to fight all these bosses, the Decton, uh, the Scottish, as well as the Magister. So yeah, that's one of the requirements. And uh, as you guys can see, the Magister can be done in a bossing party. The Magister drops a Magister Shard as a rare drop. And the mechanics are Freeze Attack, which is gonna stun a player and reduces their damage for 10 seconds after 8 regular attacks. Then also Poison deals 20 damage uh, 6 times. Uh, rapidly, every 20% HP. Then also minions, spawns 3 minions that must be killed. And uh, yes, the, the minions will be spawned whenever the Magister is gonna have uh, half of his uh, HP left. So yeah, that's what you guys have to keep in mind. And that's how the minions look like. That's how the Magister is looking like. And I have actually managed to get a Tanzanite casket from the Magister. And that's actually 1 in 10,000, and the Magister Shard is 1 in 25,000, so yeah, I have been lucky with one rare drop thus far. Then the Decton boys, as you guys can see, the mechanics are Blast Attack, which is gonna stun a player and reduces their damage for 10 seconds. Then also Summon Fire spawns a fire under all players that they must uh, dodge. Then also Minions spawns 3 Minions that must be killed. And yeah, that's how you can get the Decton killed. And these are the minions. Flaming, Pyre Lords. And that's what the Decton drops. The Decton Shard. And as you guys can see, then also Scottisio as well. Um, so the mechanics are Curse Attack. Which is gonna stun a player and reduce their damage for 10 seconds. Then also Healing Minions. Uh, spawns a single minion that heals um, Scottisio until killed. Um, then also Pylons as well. Spawns 4 Pylons. In the corners that must be killed. And yes, that's how the Scottisio looks like. And these are the pylons, as you guys can see. And yeah, that's the drop table as well. So, boys, what can I say? Let's get started. And I hope you guys will enjoy the, you know, Magister Scottisio, as well as also Tecton Guide. Alright, boys, so in-game, you can simply open up your bosses teleports. And as you guys can see, we have the Magister, the Decton, and also the Scottisio. They are all at the same place, at the same uh, area. There are just portals that you can enter. For example, the Magister, Decton, and also Scottisio. And as you guys can see, that is the gear that I am using. I also do have the Blood Oidin bet. Um, I do have the Blood Sight. I do have the Mystic set, so yeah, that is the gear that I am usually using. And as you guys can see thus far, I have actually done 120 Magister kills, and I have managed to get the beautiful Tanzanite casket, so I would say I have been pretty damn uh, lucky. But boys, I actually haven't done any Decton kills thus far, but I have done 37 Scottisio kills. So yeah, in today's video, I will showcase to you guys how to kill all these new bosses at Lunite. Alright boys, so big shout out to the man in Spoon City, he's actually gonna be helping me out, so I won't be alone, he said I gave the Spoon some loot. <laughs> so yes, we are, we are actually gonna be starting up with a Magister, that is the easiest one in my opinion. I mean, they are all easy, but I guess that is the easiest one for me personally, but uh, yeah, let's also use the scrolls, I recommend everybody to use these. Use your potions, etc. And whenever the Magister is gonna hit 50% of its hit points... Then we can uh, damage the minions. I mean, then we will have to damage the minions. There will be three minions that we will have to kill. 
And uh, whenever we get uh, these killed, then we can attack the Magister again. So that's how it that's how it works like, boys. Very, very simple and easy. So let's get it down to 50% of health. And yeah, then we will kill the minions and I will show you guys how it works. But I highly recommend everybody to bring at least two attack styles to the... To the Magister, to the Scottisio, and also to the Decton. Two attack styles is going to be nice. And yes, I also personally use uh, Soul Split all the time. Uh, I guess my gear is powerful enough. I mean, whenever you guys will make it to the Magister, etc. Whenever you guys will have the Assassin Guild unlocked, then you will definitely have a decent gear by then. So yeah, just use Soul Split and you will be all good. You don't have to do anything. Just use Soul Split, stand still, and attack the boss. It is very, very easy. And alright, alright, boys, now we will have the minions. So let me show you guys how they look like. So, for example, the foreshadow, we have the... I mean, these are all called the foreshadows, but uh, as you guys can see, they are actually wearing different overheads. So what we will have to do is that we will have to kill them one by one. And uh, yes, we will have to use different attack styles because, for example, we can't attack this one with... Uh, we can't attack this one with... Uh... Oh, shit, I'm frozen, guys. So, yeah, you also have to look out for that, boys. Whenever you get frozen... Uh, whenever you get frozen, you will have to use range. So, to be fair, to kill the minions, I recommend you guys all to use uh, range. Or magic, because then you can attack the minions even when you are frozen. So, yeah, you really have to look out for that, boys. But let's finish up the minions with range right here. Let's try not to die, because every time when we die... Uh, then the boss is gonna heal by 20%, so... Yeah, it will be... It will be very, very bad whenever we die. Okay, let's also get this one killed as well. Let's use melee to kill this minion. And yeah, whenever we... Whenever we... Oh my god, bro, I'm frozen again. But yeah, when, whenever we finish up killing these minions, then we can just go ahead. We can go ahead and attack the Magister again. So that's how easy it is, boys. Just kill the minions, attack the Magister. You know, finish it up and... Uh, you are done, so it is very, 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 very simple and easy. And yeah, that is gonna be the last minion right here. Alright, let's see, boys. This one has also been killed, and now we can go ahead and attack the Magister again. And yes, boys, very, very easy. That's how easy it is. So let's get it killed. Let's see what we can get, boys. That is the drop table right over here. And uh, yes, then we will go and kill Tecton next. So get ready for that, boys. And the right, boys, let's have a look. The Magister is about to be dead right here. And let's see if we can get anything good from here, boys. Let's have a look. Come on. And... Oh, shit. I actually got a unique item, boys. Uh, I got uh, 75 25k upgrade token back. God damn it. All right, all right, boys. So, Tecton is going to be next. So, yeah, that's what we will do now. So, boys, in this one, we will have to do the exact same thing. Whenever there will be three minions, we will have to kill them at 50% of HP. So, let's get ready for that, boys. And also, every 20% of HP, uh, the Decton will spawn a fire under all players that we must dodge. And, boys, by the way, that is my first time doing Decton, so don't charge me, boys. Don't charge me, alright? Let's see how it's gonna go. We will have to dodge the fire. Feel the flames. Look at that, boys. Feel the flames. So we will have to dodge these bad boys just like that, boys. And uh, yes, that's how we do it. Easy busy, boys. Easy busy. And uh, at 50%, we will have to kill the minions as well. And yeah, easy busy, boys. What can I say? We can do it. All right, boys. There will be flames again. Let's be real careful right here. Feel the flames. Oh, shit. We are actually frozen. Yo, we are actually frozen, boys. Holy fucking shit, bro. Yo, Spoon is it actually died. No. <laughs> it is all good, though. But yeah, boys, we will have to be very, very careful, just like that. And as you guys can see, whenever Spoon is it died, the Decton actually healed by 20%. So whenever somebody dies, it will heal by 20% of HP. So yeah, be careful with the deaths, boys. Otherwise, it is gonna take you a long time to kill the boss. Alright, guys, the minions are about to spawn, I do believe. There they are. Let's get all the flaming pyre lords killed. And, uh, yes, that's how we do it, boys. And then we will be able to attack the Tecton again. And after we kill the minions, we will only have to look out for the flames. Because the flames are spawning after we, you know, deal 20% of the boss's HP. So let's get the minions killed. Let's dodge the flames and we should be able to kill it. Alright guys, all the minions have been killed. And we are able to attack the beautiful boss again. So that's what we will do, boys. That's what we will do. And boys, whenever the boss is gonna hit 40% of its HP, then we will have to dodge the flames again. So let's be very, very careful with the flames. 
because these may kill us. And boys, we have the flames, but unfortunately I can't move. Now we can move, nice. And let's dodge all the flames. The, the, yeah, yeah, the flames have been dodged, as easy as that, guys. And as you guys can see, we have actually been frozen again, so... Yeah, your best bet will be to use magic or range over here. But if you are not frozen, then you can use melee. But yes, boys. We will dodge the flames as well as we will kill the minions. And that's how you do this boss. Very, very easy, I would say. But yeah, the thing with these new bosses is that they actually have quite a bit of HP. So it actually takes some time to get these killed. Alright, boys. We will have flames again in a second. Let's get ready to dodge the flames. And we have the flames right over here. I am unfortunately frozen, guys. Oh my god, bro. Let's see, let's see. I can't even fucking move, guys. Oh, thank God that I didn't die, though. Let's go, boys. And yeah, last 17% of uh, health left. And then the Decton will be killed. And let's see, boys. The Decton has been killed. Are we gonna get anything good from here? Let's have a look. And... We didn't. But, boys, now it is time to kill the Scotticia as well. So let me show you guys how the Scotticia works like. It is also very, very easy. So, what we will have to do at the Scotticia is that at 50% of HP, um, the Scotticia will spawn four pylons in the corners that must be killed. So, yeah, let's get ready for that, boys. And the Scotticia is also gonna be spawning a single minion that heals the Scotticia until the minion is killed. And the Scotticia spawns it every 20% of HP that we have you know, dealt damage to him. So whenever it's gonna be at 80%, it is gonna spawn a healing minion that we will have to kill, then another one at 60, then the third one at 40, and then the fourth one at uh, at 20. So, yeah, that, that that's what we will have to do, guys. We will have to kill the, you know, the healing minions, and uh, we will also have to, uh, you know, get ready for the four pylons in the corners. At 50% of HP. So let me show you guys. In a few there is gonna be a healing minion that we will have to kill. It should spawn now. There it is guys. Have a look at that. The reanimated demon. So we will have to kill it right over here. And then we can damage the Scotticia again. Nice. That's how we do it guys. Now we will have to kill the Scotticia again. And whenever it is gonna be at 60% of HP. Then there is gonna be another healing minion. So let's get ready for that boys. We will have to kill them as soon as we see them. Because... These will heal the Scotticia. Alright guys, let's see. We are at 60% of HP. There should be another minion. There it is. Let's get it killed. And yes, that's how we do it, boys. Alright guys, as you guys can see, we have the pylons on each corner now. And we will have to kill all of these corners real quick, boys. Because otherwise, they will be healing the Scotticia. So yeah, let's quickly finish up all the corners, boys. And that's how we do it, so... Next one is gonna be the blue pylon, and let's get all these bad boys killed. Let's see, boys, another one has been killed. Now we will have to kill the yellow pylon as well. Let's get all these killed, and then we can attack the Scotticia again. Alright, let's see, boys, there should be another healing minion in a few, so let's get ready to kill it. There it is, let's kill it, and yeah, let's finish up the Scotticia. And that's how easy it is, boys. Alright, let's see, boys, the Scotticia at 20% of HP. Let's get another healing minion guild, and then we can finally finish up the Scotticia. So yes, boys, that is absolutely lovely. Alright, alright, boys, the Scotticia is about to be dead right here. Let's see if we can get any lucky from here, boys. And it is dead. So yes, boys, let's see if we can get anything, and we didn't. But big shout out to the man Spoon City for helping me with this video. And as you guys can see, it is pretty damn simple to kill these new bosses, the Magister, the Decton, and also the Scotticia. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little guide video. Alright, boys, we are now going to be wrapping up my today's video at Lunite RSPS. Thank you guys all for watching. And if you guys haven't joined this amazing custom server yet, definitely make sure to do so with a link down below and use my referral code Golon Golon, refer in game, and then type in my name, FPK Merc, to get yourself an insane starter package upon joining. So, yeah, Make sure to do that, boys. Also, make sure to enter the massive giveaway that we are hosting today. And yes, I hope to see you guys all online. Thank you guys for watching and peace out, everybody.